You're tuned in to Dynamics Talk, hosted by the one and only Dion Taylor. Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So previously I recorded some videos about these autonomous agents that are coming to Dynamics 365 customer service and contact center. I recorded a video about the case management agents and the knowledge agent. And today I'm going to talk about the customer intent agent. Now I'm going to actually record two videos on this because there's just so much to cover. And in this first part, I'm going to talk about what it is and what it does and how it works. In the second video, which will be published next week, I'm going to focus on the configuration options of that agent. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Let me first explain to you what this agent actually does. Now, this is an autonomous AI agent that can be accessed either in Dynamics 365 customer service, if you have the premium license, or the D365 contact center license, right? And this agent is really designed to identify and understand the intent of customers, right? When they reach out to a customer service department. So this can be during self-service scenarios, right? When customers are interacting, for example, with a custom co-pilot, right? That can be one that's hosted on your website, and connected to your Dynamics 365 customer service or contact center instance. But it can also be used during live chat or persistent chat, right? That's that conversation between a customer and customer service reps. So the way that it works is that the AI agent analyzes the conversation using natural language understanding, right? To really get to that customer's intent. And when I'm talking about right understanding intent, I'm really referring to what is the reason that the customer is reaching out to customer support. So for example, right, they could be looking for a refund in regards to an issue with a product they purchased, right? So understanding why a customer actually contacts the support, the customer support department is very important, right? Because this is going to speed up the process of solving the problem. If I understand why you're contacting us, what the issue is, I can help get to a solution faster, right? So it doesn't only do that. It doesn't only look at the intent. It can also be configured to generate the right questions for the customer service rep to ask or for the co-pilot to ask, right? To really speed up the process of solving the issue. Now I'm going to get into all of that, but I wanted to start with just showing you what that looks like, right? So I'm going to do a demo of that functionality with you first. And uh, what I'm doing over here on the side is I'm going to start the conversation, and then I'm going to ask to be transferred to a live agent. So I've just done that on the other screen. So in a second, you should see here that that conversation now comes into my customer service workspace. So let's just give it a second here while that happens. And here we go. So I can then click here on accept, and then we can start having that conversation. So what you'll notice here, you can see that the case is already being created. That's the other agent. You can see here that the intent based suggestions, this is part of that customer intent agent, right? Currently it's looking for suggestions. So I'm going to say, uh, I need help because my laptop isn't charging. And what it's going to do again is it's now going to look through the intent records inside of my database and it's going to map it to a particular intent. So let's just give it a second while it's doing that. And as you can see here, it actually found that intent record that it mapped it to, which is visible right over here. So it says resolve battery charging issue for a laptop. Then you also see that it actually generated some questions here. And what I can do here 
is obviously you can see here that there's a little icon here that says send to conversation, right? But it would also, let's just see here when it does that, it should automatically uh, populate that question in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to respond here real quick and I'm going to say, hey, I'm sorry that your laptop isn't charging and then let's see if it would actually automatically now put that question in there. And if it doesn't, that's completely fine. I can also go ahead and click on this icon and then, right, it's going to send that here into my chat. So it doesn't immediately send it into the conversation. I can make changes to it if I needed to, but when I'm ready, I can go ahead and now send that. So let's go ahead and see what happens now. The customer is going to respond and see what it says. So they say, I checked the connections, they are all fine. So what we now should see is that that answer is now mapped here to that first question, right? Then we can also see that it automatically generated that second question, right? And it says here, hit tab to accept. So I need to click here inside of this little window and then I can hit the tab key and that's going to populate that question directly here inside of this little window. And then if I want to send it to the customer, I can do that as well. So we're going to ask now, could you please check and let me know if your laptop is overheating? So let's say what the customer says now. Let's give it a second here. And it's saying, I don't think it's overheating. The laptop doesn't feel warm at all. Again, it's going to track that, as you can see right over here. It's going to track that answer. And now it's going to give me another question. Let's just go ahead and hit tab to accept again. And I'm going to say, could you please check if your battery drivers are up to date? So pretty exciting, right? That it automatically generates those questions here. But I'm actually going to continue this conversation uh, right now. So let's see what they're going to say right now. Uh, the customer is going to go ahead and say, yes, they are on the latest version. And now I am running out of questions. So as you can see here, it now says solution is requested. And um, you also saw that I'm actually able, let me just say, try again. Oh, it also is, it already was doing that. So I can request that solution at any particular time. But you can see here that it then automatically, after the questions have been uh, answered, it then automatically gives me that resolution here uh, as well. And I can see again, I can go ahead and send that to the customer, but I can also see where this Res this resolution is coming from, right? From this knowledge article that we see over here. So now that you've seen the demo and that you understand what it does, let me now explain to you how everything works in the system and which tables are being used by the AI agents. When you're configuring the customer intent agent, one of the things that will be available for configuration, which is not mandatory, by the way, is the line of business. Now, if you want to also configure intent-based routing for a certain line of businesses, then I would recommend configuring this because if you don't, then intent-based routing will be enabled for the whole organization. You can't break it out by line of business. Now, I'm going to do a separate video on that intent based routing. But I did want to mention real quick how the line of business can be used, right? Because this really allows organizations to group certain intents and intent groups together based on that line of business. So you can almost see this as a family of intent and intent groups. Now I'm going to give some examples here, but again, I'm not going to dive into all of the details on how we can set up these uh, line of businesses, and then how we can create these rules for cases and conversations. I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. But one line of business could be, for example, software, and then we can have another one for hardware, right? So again, this is not mandatory, but this is what that could look like. You could also then have 
intent groups associated with those line of businesses, right? So this is really an overlapping almost group of issues that could happen, right? So we have here any issues regarding to laptops and any issues regarding regarding PCs. Now you saw earlier in the demo that the agent was was looking at the conversation and it was it was analyzing it to map it to an intent. So intent groups can have one or multiple intents and that's what the actual issue is that somebody is conversing about or, or that a case is about, right? So it could be for operating systems, right? There's a slow performance, the system is crashing and the updates are failing. Other examples of intent for laptops could be the touchpad is not working, the flickering of a display, or as you saw in the demo, the laptop is not charging. And just to give you some more examples for PCs as well, it could be a monitor that's not connecting to the PC or a printer that is not recognized by the PC, right? So just wanted to give you some examples of that. Now, you also saw in the demo that the agent was generating questions for the customer service rep to ask to the customer. Well, how does that work? Where is that coming from? Well, let's take a look now at each individual intent. In this particular case, I'm going to look at the laptop not charging intent, all of those intents could have one or multiple attributes. Now, these are important data points that the agent will use to suggest those questions for a customer service rep to ask the customer during the conversation, right? Now, the attribute doesn't have to be the actual question itself. Right? The agent will use the attribute to generate that question for the customer service rep. So for example, for battery health status, it would ask, can you please check the battery health status of your laptop? And then for an attribute that is called check connections, it will ask, can you please check all the connections and cables? And then lastly, if we have an attribute that's called laptop temperature, the agent will suggest the customer service rep to ask, could you please check if your laptop is overheating or if it's unusually warm? Now, there are some additional settings for these attributes as well that will determine on when those attributes are used. In other words, when the AI agent is going to ask or suggest a question for the customer service rep to ask. I will cover all of that in next week's video. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.